Hey guys, this is Sam from Atomic Marketing. And in today's video, I'm excited to share the landing page that we use for all of our solar campaigns that is able to get anywhere between a 10 and 20% conversion rate, depending on the campaigns that you run. So a quick heads up, the landing page builder that we use is called Unbounce. I think it's the largest um, landing page builder out there. And the reason I like to use it is because the range of design flexibility and customizations that you can make within the design. I find some other platforms can be a bit limiting, but you can still create a pretty decent design in most platforms out there. But just wanted to give you a heads up, that's the landing page builder that I'm using for this. And to quick proof of results. So as you can see here, We've been running this campaign now in Google Ads since I think the start of February. So let's have a quick look. The 16th of Feb is when we first started this campaign. And during this period, we've had over 200 or 219 conversions. So 219 inquiries and a conversion that we consider in this campaign is a completed phone call or someone who has completed the form on the landing page. So submitted their details for a free quote and survey. We're currently getting a cost per lead of 74 pounds. And that's actually pretty decent. I know solar is extremely competitive when using Google ads at the moment. So cost per leads do tend to be a lot higher than Facebook ads. And for, for any of you Facebook ads people out there, you probably think that's probably quite a high cost per lead. Yes, I know it is, but it is working for our client. It is still profitable and they're still making a lot of money from this campaign. But that's kind of the, the nature of Google Ads. Cost per clicks are high, it's very competitive. So just wanted to share that with you. And the average conversion rate that we're getting in this campaign, I think it's around um, the 10% mark. So if we go to conversion rate here, yep, we're just shy of 11%. Some months is around 12, um, some other ad groups are around 15%. Really does depend on the individual elements within the campaign. But on average, across different campaigns we run, it, it can vary anywhere between 10 and 20%. So just thought I'd share those numbers with you before we dive in for a bit of proof. So let's come back to the page itself. So as you can see, like most landing pages, we have a traditional hero section where we have a title, subheading, and then benefit points. And I'd say the most obvious thing that we do, uh, not just in solar, but across all of our landing pages is being very top heavy with the social proof and uh, trust factors on, on the page. So that is including accreditation logos like this NIC EIC logo, MCS certified. And uh, for anyone in the US, these are two accreditations in the UK that basically certify you as a solar installer. Not everyone needs them, uh, of course. Or, or or uses them, but they are an added kind of bonus for companies that do have, have them to show that they are certified. And another thing that we do is we include a star rating at the top. So showing that they are rated five out of five by customers. We've got a, a testimonial here in the hero as well. You can see we then further emphasize that right below the form. And then we've got all the accreditation badges right below the hero section as well. This is something that we found works really, really well because when people are trying to select a solar company or, or anyone in the home improvement space, the main question they have is how much is it gonna cost and can I trust this company? And, and if we can answer those two questions, more specifically the can we trust this, com this company question, the, the, the faster we're able to answer that question and, and show that we are a, a legit company, we've got accreditation, we've got reviews, the, the quicker they are to, to trust us and then ultimately go through with the action we want them to take on the page, which is getting a free survey and quote. So let's have a look at, let's say the, the top section of the site to begin with. So we actually use a site navigation and unlike the traditional form on a main website, which takes you to different pages, this just takes you to different sections within the landing page. And the reason we like to use these section links or a navigation is it's pretty conventional with what people are used to seeing when they come to a website. Whereas a lot of landing pages out there don't use any form of navigation at all, which I understand is to, to keep the attention ratio 
focused on the action people want them to take, which is getting a free quote. But at the same time, we want to navigate people to the areas that they want to see. So if there was a, something to do with pricing, that would be a very relevant thing to include up there. If they're looking to understand who they have worked with in the past, what kind of reviews they have, then we include the reviews bar. And of course, having a phone number that it's very clear and for people to see so they can call and get in touch because not everyone wants to complete a form. A lot of people want to speak with someone and have that more personal level of support. So in the main hero section, we've got the, this title here, MCS registered solar panel installers, Midland. But with Unbounce, we use something called dynamic text replacement. So we are actually able to change that according to the location that they came from. Or if it's within the Google ads campaign, we set up different location-based ad groups where we can specify in the URL what destination we would like to take the user to. And by simply using this parameter, location equals, and then the location name, we're able to change that location up in the headline. So we don't need tens of different pages for every single location, and we can just change one word up in the title. And that... I'd say plays a huge role in making the page feel localized and relevant to people who are looking for a local company, because you find a lot of people will search solar company near me, solar company, Birmingham, solar company, location name, solar location. And those are really, really common searches and they're very high intent searches as well. So we want to appeal to everyone across all the different areas that we're targeting when they, when people do type in these keywords, then we've got the subheading. So we use solar as the number one guaranteed way to reduce your carbon footprint and save up to 70% on your energy bills. That's really the main point that people are looking for. They're looking to save money. And so we wanna make that very apparent that, that this is what we offer. Then we've got some key unique selling points, installation completed in one day, free survey and quotation, 20 years warranty, and the locations that we cover. So all of that's kind of included in the hero. Then on the right hand side here, we've got what we call a multi-step form. And unlike most websites that use a traditional form, which asks for name, email, phone number, postcode, what are you looking for? A uh, large text field. We like to break this down into two easy to fill in steps. It's a lot less threatening and we tend to get a much higher conversion rate through step one to step two than having a form which asks all the different questions up front. And it also allows us to ask more questions and design wise, it looks more aesthetically pleasing, but I think that's really just, for, just for me anyways. Um, so you can see here, we've got free survey and quote, and then right below that, we want to explain what people are going to get, get a quote, and we will help calculate how much you can save. So we, we have a very clear value proposition for them to complete the form. Then we ask some very simple, easy to answer questions, many of which are yes or no based questions. So is your electricity bill over 50 pound per month? Most time it is yes. Do you own the property? Yes, no, I rent other. How large is your roof? And so when people complete that, that will actually take them through to the second step where we ask their personal details. So we have a micro commitment to them. They've already completed the first step. And I think we have a 60% conversion rate on step two once people have completed the first step. So that's kind of what that process looks like. And right below that, we've got a five out of five uh, Google badge here. And then below that, we include the accreditations once more. So as we come down the page, we present the problem of what our product is looking to solve. Energy prices are, are, are at an all time high. Solar panels can help you save up to 70% per year. So we really wanna focus on the benefit point of what these solar panels can do for people, which is saving them money on their energy bills. We know prices are rising with energy. This is the solution to that. We then include a couple of bits of context on the, on the services themselves, so solar panels, and then the batteries, which is really important for this particular client. They did wanna focus more on the battery element as well. So explaining the benefits of how solar batteries can help and how people can gain energy independence, use their own energy, um, increase savings as well with, with these products. And then as we come down again, we've got this section here, which is kind of like a mini call to action section where we present 
the, the text, learn how much you can save on your energy bills with a free survey and quote. So we're literally just recalling the same thing that we're using up at the top of the page. But the main difference here is we're actually presenting a visual to what they're going to receive if they do complete that form, which I think is really important because most websites out there, they'll just have a simple three-step visit your property, provide your quote, install your system. But including a visual reference or a visual cue to what that looks like can actually give, give people more of a tangible idea of what they'll receive when they do complete the form on the page. Of course, that's all delivered after the survey has been completed, but it just gives them a bit something a bit more tangible that they feel they're going to get. We then have a section on the recent solar installation projects that they've completed. So some nice photos of their work. As you come down here, it's just a another point as to why they should invest in solar panels. Uh, for Google Ads, you could probably omit this section just given the fact that people have most of the time have done their research. They know why they want to invest in solar, but for other campaign styles, perhaps more top of funnel campaigns that you're running on Facebook or even Google Ads where people don't really know the benefits, this could be a worthwhile section to keep. We then have this section here, which is a purely just social proof to show that they've worked with people before, they've got good reviews, what the, the main positive elements were from those reviews, which we've designed, custom designed in their own way with these headlines, knowledgeable about their work, was done to perfection. So rather than just having the text here, we like to sum up the review with one simple bold statement or, or sentence, just so it's a bit clearer for people to consume the content. And then as you come down, we've got why you should use this company for your solar installation. And these are really just, again, um, your USPs or benefit points as why people should use you. And we're not talking about great customer uh, service. We want something a bit more tangible. Um, so stuff like after sales support is available. Um, any accreditations um, to, to help people, you know, feel that you're trustworthy and that you are who you say you are. Um, anything to do with warranties, workmanship, workmanship warranties, a great one to include fixed price promise. So these are all tangible things that people get from working with the company. Then as we come down here, we've got about us and where we cover. And this map just gives an idea for people to, to let them know that they are a local company. They work within all the different counties. Um, so a lot of people, especially from, from Google ads are looking for someone within their own area, which they will receive, they will understand that because on the headline of the page, we do include that location based on the area they, they typed in, but this just kind of reaffirms that point to them that they covered the area that they have searched for. And then finally at the end here, we've got a few more benefit points and then a final call to action section, get your solar quote with all these buttons, which lead right back up to the main form section that we have here. So that is literally it. I know it's probably a lot longer form than I've seen a lot of other solo landing pages out there. Um, and for traffic source like Google Ads, I feel using a longer page does tend to convert better for these intent-based keywords than uh, shorter form landing pages, which I've seen, which just basically jumped straight into a questionnaire or survey. Of course, those still work really, really well. You just have to be mindful of what keywords or basically understand the, the traffic source and the context of the ad that they've clicked to come to that page. But this is something that we're using that is certainly generating really good results for us. And we have tried and tested this across a few different clients now. I think we've tried this page around five different clients and it is consistently getting anywhere between 10 and 20 percent conversion rate so i hope this video has been insightful has given you some ideas of designs that you can bring into your own campaigns of course if you want to see more content like this more landing page breakdowns uh information about google ads campaigns that we're running facebook campaigns please hit the like subscribe button and i look forward to seeing you in the next video cheers